reveal. Have you ever been uh, to invited to share in a gender reveal celebration? Yes. Have you, uh, if so, what were your expectations? Now, for the sake of time, I want to share the results of my, of course, Google search <laughs> regarding a gender reveal party or celebration. All right. Now, gender reveal is an event held to reveal the baby's gender to the expectant <coughs> parents, family, and friends, and sometimes to the parents themselves. <laughs> Consequently, today's text from Mark 1, 11 solidifies the gender reveal of the one who was baptized by John. All right. yeah. The one John describes as his not being worthy to untie his sandals. That's right. Mm. This, my friend, served <laughs> as the great reveal of Jesus' public ministry. Mm. Listen at Mark 1.11, which states this, and a voice came from heaven saying, you are my dearly loved son, and you bring me great joy. This was not only a gender reveal, but it was the great reveal of Jesus himself. All right. The great reveal was also prophesied in Isaiah 7.14 where Isaiah prophesied that a pure young woman would give birth to God's son. Then again in Matthew 18, 23, Isaiah prophesied that Christ will come as a baby. Uh, Micah 5 and 2 records the place of the great reveal. Micah prophesied that Jesus would be born in Bethlehem, right. the great reveal. Mm -hmm. Now, each of these prophecies set the stage uh, for the great reveal and the baptism of Jesus by John the Baptist in Bethany, beyond the Jordan. This was a crucial and valuable setting for the great reveal. Usually, uh, those planning for the reveal, the gender uh, reveal party celebration take great pride and take pain in selecting the place where the event would take place. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Because John baptized many, therefore establishing a profound crowd of witnesses to this particular event. People of God, may I add to your repertoire this morning of the great reveal found in the Word of God? Think about, think about it. John teaching and preaching as a voice crying in the wilderness. It represents the beginning of the model for a gender reveal celebration. Uh, there is an occurrence of a great reveal recorded also in Luke uh, 1, 5 through 19, where an angel tells Zechariah that he and Elizabeth are going to have a baby and to name that child or that son John. Right. This also was a great reveal as well as a gender reveal. Church time will not allow me to elaborate in depth what took place with these parents as they laughed and doubted what they were being told. But how many of you know that it is not over until God says it's over? That's right. That's right. The great reveal was in progress. Amen. It was setting the stage and the tone uh, to this First Sunday in Lent of 2024. Mm -hmm. uh, just remember when God says yes, who? Who can say no? All right. That's right. The great reveal. Mm -hmm. 
Saints, the next great reveal uh, that I will share with you is highlighted in the Gospel of Luke and Matthew record, regard, regarding the impending birth of the Messiah. How this is an amazing yet supernatural event by which humanity is given an opportunity and a standing invitation to be a part of the great reveal. So where, where did this great reveal occur? According to the scripture, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth uh, with a message for Mary who was promised in marriage to Joseph. The angel told Mary that she would have a son whom she would name Jesus. The angel further stated, he will be great and will be called the son of the most high God. All right. Thus, 2,000 years later, we still we are still celebrating that great reveal. That's right. uh, let me tell you, I share this background information with you this morning to encourage you to remain steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in your faith because God has a plan for your life. And that plan will be or has already been revealed to you uh, and to those whom you love and you serve. The great reveal was implemented during, this, the, during the baptism of Jesus as well. And the great reveal for your life was revealed during your baptism. Oh, yeah. Listen to Jeremiah 1 and 5. Behold, I formed you in the womb. I knew you before you were born. I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nation. The great reveal. And then Jeremiah 11, 29 and 11 says it this way. For I know of the thoughts that I think towards you. Since the Lord are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. That was part of your great reveal celebration. All right. Galatians 3, 26 and 27 says it this way. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. And then I hear Paul in Rome, and I hear Romans 28 and 28 that says, we know, we know, we know, church, that all things, that all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. This is a part of the great reveal of celebration. Uh, these encouraging words of prophecy stated above are only a drop in the bucket of the evidence presented before our Creator and those we love to give witness to our great reveal. Uh, let us not forget that to whom much is given, much is required. That's, right. That's part of your great reveal. Jesus' great reveal recorded in today's text was, institu was in instituted in Mark 1.11 during Jesus' baptism by John the Baptist. Hear these words again that was read to you. You are my dearly loved son, and, bring, and you bring me great joy. Now, how about your great reveal? Did your great reveal bring great joy to somebody? Will your great reveal today bring great joy to somebody? Will your great reveal give you the faith and the courage to stand on the promises of God? Will your great reveal today share the word of God in spite of and because of the evil that's in our society? What is your great reveal? What has your great reveal shown you that you need to do in order that we might come together as one to try to put an end to the, 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 the killing and the, and the death and all of the destruction in our land? Do we bring God great joy? 
Do we bring him great joy? Do we bring joy to each other? When we stand and come into the household of faith, are we willing to take a stand for righteousness sake, regardless of the circumstances or regardless of the consequences we might receive? Amen. Ah, the great reveal. Church, this testimony serves as evidence as to who we are in Christ Jesus. When we were baptized by water and confirmed with the Holy Spirit's baptism, this was a great reveal. Uh, this morning, I encourage you, let us celebrate our great reveal during this Lenten season and give God the praise and honor for his grace and his mercy. Let us uh, see how uh, John baptized Jesus and the heavens open. How many of you know, how many uh, your hearts are open to, 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 to the gift and the plan that God has for your life this morning. That's a great reveal. Uh, if you don't feel or uh, see anything different happening in your life, as you come to worship day, uh, week after week, whether online or in person, if you don't see something different in your life, perhaps we need to go back in the water. Perhaps we need to understand that God is still speaking to us and he wants us to do as Jesus. He says we got to be Im imitators. All right. Imitators. I hear, I hear, I hear in, 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 in closing, I tell you, my soul, while I was thinking about the great reveal, I said, God, I don't want to, um, I don't want to insult anybody. I don't want to take anything for granted. I don't want anybody to take my words out of context because I'm not trying to prove to you whether or not uh, God uh, was a male or a female or whether he was um, bisexual or homosexual or gay. I am telling you that God is God regardless of who you think he is. I hear, I hear the songwriter uh, giving me the great reveal as I uh, pondered my own baptism. I hear God giving me the great reveal as I answered my call to ministry. I hear God giving me the great re reveal as he called me to serve, and I say it again, to serve, not be served. First Congregational in Birmingham, Alabama. That's a great reveal. Right. It was a great reveal to receive the call. It's a great reveal to be able to stand before you this morning. Right. It's a great reveal right. to know that God has brought us this far by faith. It's a great reveal, and I pray that today that you will go home and you will think about your baptism. Mm -hmm. You will think about what happened and what occurred in your life mm -hmm. on your baptism. Mm -hmm. I can see the heavens open. Yeah. What a glorious day that must have been. Yeah. I can see that dove coming down. And lighting on the shoulder. I can just hear the crowd cheering saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Amen. Hmm. Yes. The songwriter. I can start humming and softly whispering these words penned by the songwriter. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Mm -hmm. When Jesus washed all of my sins away, let us celebrate our great reveal together while it is day. For when night comes, no one will be able to walk nor play. The great reveal in Jesus' name. This is the word of God for the people of God.